Okay, so we're back. So I had to reboot uh, the computer. It's uh, booted up now. The Zune software loaded, and uh, it loaded really, really quickly. In fact, I, I'll, maybe I'll just show this to you again. Uh, this won't be 100% accurate because Vista, of course, would have done a little bit of uh, caching. But basically, I double click on the icon and boom, it loads. So they did, uh, I think, improve the speed because on the same computer, the previous Zune software took uh, probably three to four seconds, and that was loading in about two seconds. So quite, quite good in terms of uh, performance. So. I am once again going to uh, give the Zune HD uh, update a try and um, as soon as it loads here. So I really, really hope that after the firmware update it's not going to do this because I literally had this thing only turned off for less than five minutes and it completely goes into the sleep mode, which means it has to do this boot up the entire time. And you know, it takes, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. It just seems to take a lot longer than it should. So. I'm going to uh, dock the Zune HD again here, and hopefully this time I will get a firmware update so I can uh, start, you know, using the device because, of course, like most other, uh, like previous generation Zunes, uh, the Zune is essentially useless until you you get um, <laughs> the firmware updated. So as you can see here, the current player software that what I have is 4.0 and then 4.1. Um, is uh, the new one and so I'm just going to click on accept here and it's going to go ahead and uh, download the uh, update. And of course that's dumping it onto the device via USB 2.0 so it should be relatively uh, quick and when the device comes back I'm going to have a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't have before. Um, I'm going to have uh, the marketplace icon. I'm going to be able to actually um, you know uh, use the internet uh, browser. I should be able to also have access to the apps, which will include a couple of games. Now, um, after I do the update here, I will hopefully see apps as part of the marketplace uh, in the, um, the Zune uh, marketplace. I'll just zoom in here so you can see uh, what the Zune is doing. So it's just, uh, just uh, updating the firmware right now, and uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long. Even the OLED screen looks awesome with the uh, the firmware update, so uh, <laughs> gotta love that OLED screen. So hopefully that's not going to take uh, too too long here, because again, it's uh, it's you know downloading. Um, well, even if it is a relatively large update over USB 2.0, it should be relatively uh, quick. So we are on step three of four, updating the player. Um, I'll uh, cut here and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so the Zune HD uh, just uh, disconnected from my computer uh, and it's, uh, in fact, it's, it's rebooting down here. Um, although I've seen that flash on and off a couple of times, but I, I heard the USB disconnected sound, so I'm assuming that that means that it's, um, yeah, rebooting. So there we go. So there is the uh, Zune logo, and so hopefully after a couple seconds here we should see the uh, the boot process mm -hmm. complete, and then when it comes up, which will be right after this bar reaches the top, what we should see are uh, some new, you know, uh, some new menu items. Ah, there we go, so there's the clock screen, uh, or rather the uh, the lock screen is, that, is actually what it's called, and this was something that I could not I could not demo um, earlier uh, when I was tr when I was trying to use it. Um, it just it just didn't didn't work properly, and so that's why my, my unboxing video unfortunately had a little bit of you know confusing information and uh, some inaccuracies in it because uh, the Zune essentially it just wasn't working the way that it should without having this this new firmware update. So I may uh, when when I do uh, the video again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know talk about um, the things maybe in the unboxing video that I, that I got. Right wrong. So um, you can type in the name for the Zune. I'm just going to leave it at uh, Zune. I'm going to um, go ahead I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip this part for right now. So this is this this part right here is when it's uh, telling you, or it's, rather, it's asking you know, do do you want to sync over all your pictures, all your videos, whatever? And as you can tell, that there's actually an app. So I'm going to say you know I'm going to sync over all my apps. I'm going to do items I choose for pictures, videos, and music because unfortunately this is only a 16 gigabyte Zune and uh, even honestly, a 32 gigabyte Zune is isn't big enough. Uh, I have a music collection of around 80 to 85 gigs, and a lot more, uh, a lot of pictures, and so yeah, that that really isn't going to work. So I'm going to click on Go to your uh, collection, and um, there we go. So there is the Zune HD. It's showing me the you know the the uh, the Zune icon. 
Um, so we have uh, the sync groups here, and it says that it's synchronizing, and, but of course I don't know what it's synchronizing because I told it to not really do much of anything. Now it might, I don't know if it's putting, uh, okay yeah, so now it says that the, uh, the, the, uh, the player is up to date. So on an empty Zune, uh, it's using 813 uh, megabytes is what it's saying, and I have 13.68 uh, free so that kind of goes to show you that even on a 16 gig zoom uh, you're not going to get 16 full gigs of storage space which again makes it even more painful if you have you know a, uh, a really big uh, a really big collection so um, let's uh, let's undock the zoom well actually no tell you what I'm going to go into my collection and I'm just going to uh, sync um, a single album uh, down and uh, we'll put that Put that on on, on the zoom, and because um, of course I want to be able to um, look at the device and see uh, some some content on it, and so it's now synchronizing over. Uh, this is the new Marie Digby album, and if you like you know female singer songwriters, killer album, really really enjoying it. Uh, and while this is synchronizing, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, just going to let it let it finish here. I'll probably be, you know I'll be doing some experiments to see actually how quick the uh, synchronization um, actually actually happens. Before we switch over to the device, I'm gonna go up here into uh, apps. So as you can see, it's saying uh, you have no apps on your player. So, okay. So if I go over to Marketplace and then I go over to apps, here we go. So here are uh, apps for the Zune HD. So we have, basically we have two categories. We have uh, games and then we have other. So there's a few, there's a few different you know, types of games, although Okay, so these are these are actually the uh, the categories, and so if I go into puzzle, we got Hexic and Sudoku, uh, board games. We got chess. We got Texas Hold'em under card games under racing. Looks like we have nothing under music. We have nothing under action. We have Goose Splat Shell Game and Space Battle Two, and then View All. We have all of them, and then uh, there's also uh, the uh, utility. So what we have here, we have the uh, calculator and the weather uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and just you know click on this and and uh, uh, download it so um, I think it's gonna ask me yeah so uh, that email address is actually for my US passport um, up here you can see uh, here we go American today so that is actually my zoom profile uh, that I don't actually uh, that I don't use very often but it is the only way that I can order um, content out of the Zune marketplace because I'm up in Canada. So let's get back on track here. So we have the calculator app, uh, it says it's in my collection. The weather app, I'm just going to uh, download the weather app as well. Now it says it's in my collection and then if I go back to um, games, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll grab uh, Goose Flat here because that looks like it's kind of fun and basically uh, you just, you know, you uh, down download the item and uh, I think now when I switch back to my device, yeah, so when I switch back to my device, it's actually gonna show me that I have three apps uh, that have been added onto the device and so that is that. Now, uh, let's explore a little bit of the other parts of the software. So if I click in here to uh, Marketplace, um, we have we have music. Okay, so there's there's not really anything new here as far as I can tell. Um, the important stuff though is of course is on the uh, the video the video tab.